Hello dear children, how are you all doing today? I hope you are doing great. So are you all curious to know what are we going to learn today? Well dear learners, I will tell you about it. But first, can you think and tell me why can't we wear cotton clothes throughout the year? Why do we have to wear warm clothes in some months of the year? Why do we like eating cold things like ice creams, cold juices, fizzy drinks in some months but we prefer to drink hot drinks like tea, coffee, kava in other months. So have you thought what is it that affects and impacts our food and clothing habits throughout the year? Can you guess children what it is? Can you? Very well. It is due to the changing seasons. The seasons change and with that our food and clothing habits also change. You know how many seasons are there in a year? Well, we experience five seasons in a year. Can you name the seasons children? Okay, wait. Let's learn their name through a small poem. Are you ready for it? Let's begin. Five seasons in a year, spring begins with a cheer. Flowers bloom, the birds sing, when comes the merry spring. Summer comes with the shining sun and a long day for children to play. Rainy seasons come with the water drops, peacock dances and the frog hops. Leaves fall on the ground. Pleasant winds on the way is when it is an autumn day. Winter is when I am all in snow from head to toe. Wow, such a lovely poem. It talks about all the five seasons and how they make us feel. During the spring season, we see the flowers blooming all around us. Then comes the summer season with long, long days and children love to play so much during these days. Next come the rainy season and we see the peacock dancing around happily with the frog hopping with joy all around. Then comes the autumn days where the leaves changes their colors and fall to the ground. Sweet pleasant wind flows and take away the leaves with them. Such beautiful sight it is. Lastly comes the winter with so much cold that we all go brrrr. Now that we have enjoyed the poem, let me make you think and answer some questions. Can you tell me children, in which season do you go on a vacation? When is it that your vacation start? See, the vacation season can be different at different places. If you live at a summer station, then you might be having vacations in the month of May and June. But if you live in a winter station, then your vacations might start in the months of December and January. Okay, so now can you tell me what season it is when your birthday comes? Your birthday falls in which season of the year? Shall I tell you when mine comes? Okay, my birthday falls in the spring season. Can you guess which month would it be when I celebrate my birthday? Okay, children, can you tell me which is your favorite season and why do you like it? Do you know that my favorite season is winters? I love winters because I love the cold, cold weather of the winters. I love eating gajar ka halwa and the hot coffee. Which is your favorite season, children? Tell for yourself, there definitely must be something very special about the season for you to like it. Okay children, do you know that in our country, we celebrate so many festivals through the year. But have you ever noticed that these festivals fall in only a specific season each year? In our next activity, we will identify the seasons and match them with their names and the festivals that fall in that season. Now, what do you see in the first picture, children? Lots of flowers are blooming and the birds are flying. Can you recall what the poem said about blooming flowers and flying birds? Yes, it is the spring season that the flowers bloom. 
Let us read the festivals that fall in this season. Gudi Parva, Shivratri, Baisakhi and Holi are the festivals that we celebrate in the spring season. Next we see trees with little leaves and the leaves have fallen to the ground. So is it the autumn season? What do you think? Isn't it? And the festivals that we celebrate during this season are the Shara and Sharad Purnima. In the third picture, I can see a snowman built by two children who are wearing so many layers of clothing. Which season do you think it is, children? Oh yes, it is the winter season. And we celebrate festivals like Christmas, Lori, Republic Day, Guru Nanak Jayanti and Bihu in this season. The fourth picture shows a dancing peacock and a hopping frog. Oh wait, are these raindrops? Yes, so this must be the rainy season or we call it the monsoon also. We celebrate festivals like Janmashtami, Raksha Bandhan, Independence Day during the monsoon season. Lastly, we see two children walking. One is eating an ice cream. The other is wiping his face with a handkerchief. And the sun is smiling upon them. Which season do you think it is? It is the summer. Absolutely. Festivals like Guru Purnima, Buddha Purnima, Ram Navmi and Mahavir Jayanti are celebrated in this season. Now, after all the seasons and festivals, can you help me identify what do we see here? What is this called, children? Did anyone say a calendar? Oh yes, it is very much a calendar. You must have seen one or more calendars hanging around on the walls in your houses or school or small desk calendars kept on a table. But have you ever wondered what is the use of a calendar? Or have you seen any elder using it in your home? Well, let me help you understand its use. A calendar helps us to track the time in terms of date, day, month and year. Like how do you know what date is it today? Who told you? Or what will be the date the day after tomorrow? How do you know on what day of the week will your birthday fall? It is the calendar that tells us about the days and dates. In order to be able to read the calendar, you must first understand that a calendar of a year has 12 months in it. How many months did I say children? 12, right? Now, you must be knowing the names of the 12 months. They are like, they go like January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November and December. Now each month has a fixed number of days. Like you can see that January has 31 days. February has 28. March again has 31 days. April has 30 days and so on. You must know that each month is further divided into weeks. There are approximately 4 weeks in each month. Next come the days of the week. Each week has 7 numbers of day. You all know the name of days. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Thursday, Friday and then come Saturday. Now that you know about the structure of the calendar children, you should know the uses of the calendar also. We use it to plan our daily life activities, to keep track of different events like which date is my birthday, on what date are we planning our trip, which day did I join the school and other important things. Now that you know about the uses of the calendar, can you look at the calendar and fill in the number of days which the given months have. How many days can you see are there in the months of January, March, May, July, August, October and December? I see that all these months have 31 days children. What do you see? 31 days isn't it? What about February? 
Let's see. As per the calendar of the year 2023, month of February has 28 days. Now, how many days in the months of April, June, September and November can you see? These months have 30 days, isn't it? But how to remember this? Let me share a small trick that I learned from my teachers. We make a fist with both our hands and bring both the hands together. Now we start from the corner of the left hand. The elevated mountain is given the name January. The valley between the two knuckles is February. Again, the elevated mountain is March. April is in the low valley. May is on the mountain. June is in the valley. July on the mountain. And when we jump to the right hand knuckle, we start from the mountain again. So, August is on the mountain. September in the valley, October on the mountain, November in the valley and December on the mountain. Now all the months that were on the mountain have 31 days whereas the ones in the valley have only 30 days with one exception which is the month of February. How many days does it have? Did you notice in the calendar of 2023? It had only 28 days. But does it always have 28 days? You may discuss this with your parents and friends. Now, let us take a look at few questions about which we have just learnt. Why do we use a calendar? So, we just discussed that we use the calendar to keep a track of important days and dates of our lives. You can also discuss with your parents about the purpose for which they use the calendar. Does February have the same number of days in every year? Children, if you can find out a calendar of the year 2020 and a calendar of the year 2023 and read the number of days of February, you would find out that it does not have the same number of days. If you are still curious to know why so, then it's a good question to work on. Try finding an answer by discussing it among your friends and elders. How many days are there in a week? That's an easy one, isn't it? Seven days is the right answer. In the calendar given on the previous page, how many Sundays are there in the month of April? Let us go back to the calendar and count. One, two, three, four, Five. So, we found that there are five Sundays in the month of April. Which months have five Sundays? Let's go back to the calendar. I can see January, April, July and October has five Sundays. Summer vacations are in the months of which months do you think children? May and June, isn't it? I am right, I think so. Winter vacations are in the month of Dash and dash. Shall I fill December and January? Yes, that's the right answer. Can you find the total number of days in April and March? So, we see that April had 30 days. March had 31 days. We add both the numbers together. 30 plus 31, the total we get is 61. So, 61 days is the total number of days. Okay children, now we have learned about how a calendar is useful and helpful for us. Now you make a calendar of your own, a calendar of the month of your birthday and you mark the birthday also on the same. Can you now take a look at the following day to day activities and help me identify the duration of the time it requires to get completed. Duration has to be identified in terms of hours days or months. If we look at the activity of cooking, what do you think? How much time does the task of cooking requires to be completed? Can it be done in few hours or it requires a few days or maybe a few months? What do you think children? Well, right, the activity can be completed in hours. Don't we all see our mothers cooking for us in a couple of hours each day? Next, we have the activity of knitting a sweater. Have you ever seen your elders doing this task at home? Well, children, the activity of knitting takes time. 
So, this task needs days to be completed. Similarly, you have to think and answer how much time the other mentioned activities need to be completed. Do they need hours, days or months to be done? With this, we have reached towards the end of today's learning. Hope you all had a fruitful time and enjoyed learning today. Stay safe children, I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.